first to the Professor Shahid Mehdi, the chairperson of the Professor Amir Hassan Memorial Society for organizing such valuable lecture, memorial lecture. Second lecture. Let me tell a few sentences for first for Professor Amir Hassan of Abedi and how I, I become familiar with Professor Abedi. This is my third nation I am in India in Culture House in Iran Culture House in New Delhi. Maybe around 17 years before, for the first time when Professor Amir Hassan already came to Iran for participation of the conference with other delegation of India, like Professor Sharif Hussain Hussain, Professor Azhar, and some others. And in that meeting, we become familiar with Professor Abedi. After a while, I came to India in 2003 for the first time and I become more familiar with Professor Abedi, a person who was in always serving to the Persian language and literature. That time we had regularly lecture in Iran Culture House, monthly lecture, Hafez Khani and Mulalari Khani. Professor Abedi was a man who all these lectures was participating, first coming and last leading the lectures. In my second mission, I came here and Professor Abedi was in his 90s and in bed. I don't remember in house of the wish son, this son or that son, but once I went to his house for <coughs> asking for his health and welfare and it Mr. Ghazle. He told me, whenever I am coming to Culture House, I am good, please do some arrangement for regularly coming to Culture House. And even in that situation, he was interested to come to the library and do research for Persian language and literature. And that's why today in the memorial lecture, this much audience participating from different departments, history department. Persian literature, Persian department, and maybe other departments. So I'm thankful to this society and also Professor Shahid Mehdi to organizing such a valuable lecture. And also in my first session, I become familiar in name and book by Professor Erfan Habib. I'm also a student of the history. I'm also interested to research and words for Indo-Iran relations, historical relations. I become familiar with his books. That time, I was master degree. I was seeking to opportunity to complete my PhD under his supervision, but he was retirement that time. And I, take admi I took admission in Jawaharlal Nehru University with his student professor, Ajah Haider. But Unfortunately, I left India and I gone to my country, Iran, and my, I completed my PhD in history in Tehran University. I myself used too much for this lecture delivered by Professor Erfan Habib for secular and radical trends in pre-modern Persian literature. He started very well regarding Iranian culture, reach of the Iranian culture and he correctly mentioned regarding the renaissance of the Iranian culture and civilization on the last of the end of the third Islamic century and beginning of the fourth century on the dynasty of Samanid, those dynasty who under supervision of the kings like Ibnu, Mansur and some others started for translation of the Arabic books to the Persian. Tariq Tabari, translated by Abu Ali Balani, and new history created actually after translation, and also Tafsir Tabari, translated by that person. And Jayhani, and some other scholars and scientists, which was very active for reviving Iranian culture and civilization. Professor Fanhabi correctly told for Shahnameh, 
Is anyone renowned poet Ferdowsi? But I think this is one movement for Shahnama writing in Salmanid dynasty before Ferdowsi, Abu Ali, Dariri Tusi, and Gershaw's Mami Tusi also. A books in the prose and poetry started for the writing the story of the Iranian or civilization, Iranian kingdom. So Ferdowsi was, you know, the, one of the pioneer but after these persons. He himself, Professor Zephon Halim, again told correctly, he tried to preserve Iranian culture and civilization, old and rich culture and civilization. He read the couplet of, couplet of the poem Basi Ranj Bordam Darin Saul C. Ajam Zendekardam Edim Paul C. Or other couplet Payachandam as Naz Kahi Bonand Kaz Bodo Bonon Nayo Batyazand. This couplet shows how he tried to preserve Persian literature and language because before. This century, on the first century, when Arab conquered Iran, in the time of the Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Sarafi, Ahlavi language changed to the Arabic, and all books and all culture changed to the Arabic. Only by trying of the, these persons, like Ferdowsi, Iranian culture, revived. I think a few months before one interview,